Now that we've got our project set up and contained in a zip file, we can now build the release APK. We've got two options for building the project, PhoneGap or Cocoon. In this example, we'll be using PhoneGap. We're going to use the zip file from the parent folder containing the config file. First, go to build.phonegap.com and go ahead and sign up. They have a free plan as well as some paid plans. With the free plan, you can only upload one private project at a time. And if you try to upload another project, it will replace the project you currently have uploaded. But that will be good enough for us to build our project. So, once you've got your account set up, go to the Apps tab. I already had the app set up previously, so I can't add another private project. But, just click on the New App button. Here, there are two tabs, Open Source and Private. Click on Private and then click on the Upload a Zip File button and select the zip file we created for PhoneGap. Once it uploads, it should take you to this page here. Since I've already got the project set up for testing, I need to upload the source code again so we can go through the build process together. I'll select the zip file that we created for PhoneGap and click Upload. Now, PhoneGap will try to build our project for iOS, Android, and Windows, but we'll get an error for iOS and Android. The reason why we get an error is because the app needs a key store file to authenticate your app with your Google Play developer account. In the next video, we're going to cover how to build the game with Cocoon, but after that, I'll show you how to create a key store file. The problem is, you need to have a key store to build your app, but you need to build a debug version of your app before you can generate a key store. A debug version of the app was compiled also, and you can find that right here. Go ahead and download this, and we'll use it to generate your key store in a couple of videos. When you do get your key store file, just click here and select Add a Key. You'll enter a title for this key store and an alias, which we'll specify when we generate the key store file. And you select the file that we'll generate here and just upload it. Once you do, you'll have a key store here, like I do. To build your app with no errors, we just need to unlock the key store before we build the project. To unlock your key store, click on this lock icon and enter your certificate password and key store password, both of which we'll specify when we generate the key store file. Once you enter them and click Submit Key, your key store will be unlocked for one hour and you can build your project without errors. Once the key store is unlocked, click Rebuild. Once it's done compiling, you can download the APK by clicking this button. This is the file that you can install on your phone or emulator or upload to the Play Store. I'll drag this onto my emulator and it will install and then I can open it up. And there we go, our compiled app with AdMob ads running on the emulator using the Ultimate Ads plugin. I'm still using test ads because this app isn't meant to go live. But had I turned off test mode in Construct, I'd be getting live ads here. In the next video, we'll take a look at the second option we have for building our project, Cocoon.